Yes, it's back-to-back -back AFL flags for Hawthorne. The Hawks flew to an early lead and powered to victory in style. The one-sided season decider was bitter disappointment for minor premier Sydney. Drew Jones has our story. 100,000 fans packed into the AFL's mecca as Sydney and Hawthorne took centre stage at the MCG. Just for a moment, legendary rocker Tom Jones stole the limelight. Think about a dance now. While the younger fans enjoyed English chart topper Ed Sheeran. Just one more important formality to knock out before the bounce. Cyril Rioli avoided the vest for the Hawks and started on the ground. Josh Gibson with the big job on Lance Franklin. All eyes on Buddy, but it was another former Hawk making an impact. Now Kennedy, long kick, goal. First of the grand final, Josh Kennedy. Nothing wrong with Rioli's hamstring as he nearly pulled in a screamer. Paul Puopolo grabbed the Hawks first of the day and Buddy's shoulder took some harsh treatment, but Lake's roughhousing gave him a sighted goal. That hurts. He wins on points, at least in the short term. The game had sprung to life, in Ted Richards' case, literally. <laughs> Sydney's defence looking shaky under constant Hawks pressure. Rundy got a fist on it, dangerous spot though. Hill ample time, turns around and kicks the goal. Hawthorne seized all the early momentum, Sydney powerless to resist. Langford's going to kick a goal, and Hawthorne get five in the opening term. Sydney needed something to get them going at the start of the second quarter. Ben McLean had just the tonic. Goes for goal, and it is one. McLean, the third former Hawk to convert for the Swans, but their reprieve was short-lived. Hawthorne responding with interest, slamming on three quick goals. He'll fancy this. It's got enough. It's a goal. He's the margin was 41 points, and it was a most un-Sydney-like performance. Hodge will kick a second. He does. He can feel that cap in his hands, I reckon. Franklin had been quiet since the opening minutes, but managed to juggle the mark and boot his second and drag back the deficit. Rioli's class justifying his inclusion, smothering a handball and coolly setting up a shot for Jared Ruffy. Ruffy's on the board and Hawthorne stretched the lead again. Luke Hodge had two goals for the quarter and was doing it at the other end as well against an old buddy. Some respect there too. It's a great shot, isn't it? In the second half, Tippett again falling victim to a quick-thinking Cyril. Jack Gunston's early inaccuracy all but forgotten. Gunston making the bloods bleed. Franklin inhaled another contested mark, giving himself a chance to bring the margin back to something gettable. I think he has. He's kicked three, buddy. Brian Lake elevated over a hapless Tippett. And down the other end, the man who missed last season's premiership made his mark on 2014. Suckling could kick this. He's brilliant. And he puts it through. Cop that. Matt Suckling extending the margin to 50 points. Will Langford's dad, Chris, has four Hawthorne flags. His son almost had his hands on his very first. And goal! Oh, yes! Oh. He's kicked the third! And that tops the ball! The Hawks up by 54 points at three-quarter time. Their dominance sealed with a kiss from Hodge. Cheeky Hodgey. An early goal from Luke Bruce and a fourth from Rough Ed all but snuffed out any chance of a Sydney comeback. Cyril earning a hug after a good day's work. Sean Burgoyne topping off a solid performance in his fifth grand final. Oh, oh, that's icing on a cake, isn't it? Rough Ed with a chance to become the fourth man in 15 years to kick five goals in a grand final. Welcome to the club, Ruffy. But he's going to join a better one in a moment, a three-time premiership player. The Hawks going back-to-back -back and extracting revenge for their 2012 heartbreak against the Swans. This great team, the best team of the modern era, of the last 50 years, produces its masterpiece. They've never been better than this. Hawthorne skipper Luke Hodge awarded the Norm Smith medal for the second time in his career. Drew Jones, Fox Sports News.